HotspotATL.com. Of course, um, my name is Devin Steele, Program Director for High 1079. Man, such an honor today to be behind the scenes and in front of the camera, you know what I mean? And of course, I, I had to make sure that I got uh, an opportunity to talk to my girl, my family, Jazzy, man. man. And I say this like, it's very weird. I know I sent this to you as a DM the other day. Um, with all your success, of course, you got the new album. We're going to talk about yeah. that to say, like, I'm proud of you. Like, I'm weird when people say I'm proud of you because it makes it seem like people expect you not to do well. You know what I mean? But I mean, I'm proud of like your progress to see because I know what you've been through personally because we're friends, friends. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Represent Memphis to the fullest. Now, real quick, if you don't know John's story, like on a wing and a prayer, you basically left Memphis. You have been writing for people, um, you know. A lot of talented people in Memphis. You basically went to Florida, went to Miami to work for Timberland on a wing and a prayer. He's like, come to the beach, come live with me, come work for me. Basically, right? Pretty much, you know, uh, Wisdom, who was uh, from Memphis, right. and Webb, and right, all right. they, they, they found me. I was working at the Trap House. The Trap House got raided. It was done. I was sad. I was like, I don't know what I'm about to do. I was like 19, 20. I was a baby. And uh, I got the call that he wanted me to come out there. Right. And literally, um, shoot, I just went out there. On a humble, on a humble, and then um, I went out there and met Timberland, and then we ended up staying for like four or five years of my life. Wow. I was supposed to be out there for like two weeks. That's that's real resilience. Like people say that being from Memphis, there's a different kind of hustle. It's a hustle. You can take people from Memphis anywhere, drop them off, and we're gonna succeed. Cold. Like we're gonna figure it out. You know what I mean? Like that's that's real talk. I mean, fast forward. I'm talking about Mary J. Blige, Chris Brown. Old Town Road, I mean, such a huge record, all these records, Madonna, all yeah. these people that you've written for, um, and now you're an artist. Was it hard to transition? Has that been the plan all the way uh, around to say, you know what, let me step uh, into the vocal booth from behind the board, you know what I mean? Yeah. Has, that been, has that been tough it's for you? super hard. Yeah. I stopped. I didn't even want to do the artistry no, anymore. Like, I was over it. I got jaded after I had dropped the project. I, well, I didn't drop the pro project. I dropped a song with uh, Lil, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, yeah. And I was like, you know, the label just, I had lemonade before I gave it to Wayne, mm. you know what I'm saying? I was just like, yo, what's going on? But I, I guess it wasn't me. I guess it wasn't my time. You know, I feel like, you know, God's time is the best time. Absolutely. And, um, super jaded. But then when I met Puff, I mean, he's just, he's superstar. Yeah. You know, he saw it in Biggie. Right, he right. He saw it in Faith Evans. He saw it in Lil' Kim. He sees it. So yeah. I, it was just like, you got to have people that believe in you. Facts. And... Once I had somebody who believed, believed in me the way I believe in myself, mm -hmm. it was over. I can remember being in L.A. I think it was BET, I think. Um, yeah, it was. At an after party, and we went and we hung out. Shout out to my guy, Kenny DeWeet. Uh, he was out there with me yeah. doing doing digital work, and it was like uh, we went to this, part, this party, and you walked in the door, and it was like everybody was pulling you. Oh, yeah. Miguel, Usher, yeah. everybody. <laughs> and, I, and I thought to myself, and I said, you know what? Like, Jazzy is on. Like, it's just a matter of time. People really don't realize. Is it tough for you? Or has it been tough? And now that you're on the other side, you've been in the booth and you had this amazing yeah. project um, to write these incredible lyrics to people and see them performing and get all of this, you know what I mean, to, 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 to get them out of the limelight and you're behind the scenes. Has that been tough through the years? Uh, so I wanted to be a songwriter. Mm -hmm. So what comes with that, you know what comes with it. But I also, I ain't no ghostwriter. Right. And so that's what was irking me, like, Treat me with the respect that you treat a producer. Mm, like when okay. you say, "Yo, Metro Boomin made that." Right. You, like, don't don't try to hide me. Yeah. And yeah. so that was the thing. I never signed up to be no ghostwriter. Right. So so like, I want my respect. Sure. And so I think we made it, and and I feel like myself with a, a few a lot of few other songwriters, we made it cool to be a songwriter. Yeah. Like I feel like we we like shed like, I'm the era of like. If you didn't know Dream wrote it, you didn't know Dream wrote it. You didn't know Neo wrote this, you didn't know Neo wrote it. But right. like now, you be like, oh, Jazzy wrote that. Right. Oh, you know, like you know now. Yes. You, you like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I feel like we made it cool to be writers. And, yeah. Because at, at a time where it was like, you know, certain artists were like certain rappers and, and people were trying to like ghost write people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really feel like I knew what I was signing myself up for, but I knew that I wanted to um, elevate what a songwriter was. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think you've done a good job of that and I think that's cool that now people can put, people know who you are yeah. and can put your face with the name and now, now they know and now they're doing the research and going back and seeing that yeah. all the things you've written, all the things you've had your hand in, which is incredible. We You're, want that for all songwriters. We want that for all songwriters. Yeah. Like the songwriters coming up, it's going to be somebody that's going to even be even more popping. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Your album is incredible. I was listening to it this Thank morning, you, spending wow. some time with it. Now I heard the single a few months ago on Puff. I remember you hit me and you text me. And I told it said Puff play for us. You know what yeah, I mean? You had the video me. in Paris, and I was like, you know what? Wow, this is a vibe. You yeah, know what I mean? This is a vibe. Um, songs for women, free game for dudes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, see? <laughs> on the radio, you know what I mean? He knows. <laughs> Some people just, you know, he but, knows not to say that. But I, I like think that. one of the things that I love about you is you're very, you're uh, unapologetically very yeah. honest with who you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? You write incredible songs for women. Yeah, you know you. what I mean? Has that? I never. We never really talked about this. You've done. We've done panels together. We've spent some time together. But as far as your writing process, do you say, "All right, I'm gonna sit down and write a ballad," or "I'm inspired. Let me go home and and, and sit"? Or does it come different ways to you? How it do you do it? Different ways. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, recent, like, so the last two songs on the project was "Nasty" and "Don't Say No." Right. Um, and I said I was. I I had intentions to do some. I was like, "Yo, I want. I need some sex songs." Right. I need some. some yeah, yeah. Making. I need that stuff where girls feel sexy. Mm -hmm. Where like I want that Jodeci energy, Cisco, Drew Hill. Right, right. That was so I had intentions when okay. I did those songs. Everything else, no intentions. Yeah. Everything else, I was just like, yo, you know what? Whatever, whatever comes. But so it just depends. Like when I um, like when I wrote for me on the Songs Women project, yeah, now nah, it was just everything was free flowing. I didn't, yeah. I didn't say I wanted an alone song. I didn't say I needed a bop. I just, it just the beats sounded so good. I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do on the beat. Yeah. But those two songs, I knew that I needed some sex songs. Mm. I was like, yo, I need this. This is you, what I'm going to do. You've broken a lot of people. Um, if you don't follow, they don't follow you on IG, put it out there because you have an incredibly, uh, <laughs> you have an incredibly intense, uh, you know, it's a beautiful Instagram because you're yeah, in some ama around some amazing people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, put it out there if they don't already know it. So my IG is Jazzy, J-O-Z-Z-Y. My Twitter is Dope By Accident. Go check it out, man. Go show love. Tell me what's your favorite song. Mm. Yeah, wow. Yes, facts. And, you know, if you don't know a lot about about her, um, you know, spend some time on Instagram, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like backtrack and you can see yeah. really, really how connected she is. So a couple more. more archive stuff. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. Yeah, don't get yourself in any trouble. Don't get yourself in any trouble. Um, how long did it really take you when you, and you worked with a lot of people, yeah. you know, you're, you're in the studio, you're working with Puff, and I know he has incredible words of wisdom constantly for no, it to finally sink in and be like, it's just puff, you know what I'm saying? It's just love. It's just my guy. You know, I you still, still hey, yeah. No, I still not like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like. I don't. I don't ever get comfortable. Mm. Can't ever get comfortable with, with people's time and people's energy. I don't care how much how great he treats me. Like I'm gonna still respect this man. Yeah. I'm gonna still respect this house. I'm not gonna leave my shoes all around his house. <laughs> wow. I'm not fin like I don't even like his mama be like, yo, what do you want to come on, come on, get. I'm like, my, like I'll be like, nah, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> I'm still, I still respectful and like you know what I'm saying walk like I like I like I haven't been in this man's house before. Yeah. But uh, like Puff, I call him Winger. That's my wingman. I'm his wingman. That's what we do. We call each other wingman. Okay. Okay. So like Winger is just like. That's really my brother though. Like, like his words of encouragement, his playlist that he gives me, the song, like he gave me this whole love, love frequency, and it had like Chico the Bar. I've, mm. like, I've heard of Chico the Bar. Yeah, yeah. I never listened to Chico the Bar. Wow. Okay. And like, I was like, yo, this Chico the Bar interlude is so crazy, and like, I listened to it nonstop. So he put me, he's put me on a lot of songs that I never would have listened to. Like, That's dope. Yeah, like even like old. And I'm a Aaron, I'm a guy fan, but yeah, like yeah. old Aaron Hall, mm -hmm. he put me on all of that. So like he just keeps in, he keeps like lifting me and inspiring me with stuff. He's a uh, not just a wealth of knowledge, but an, I mean an, an avid hustler, twenty four seven. Hustle. You know what I mean? Is what oh. I love about him. Man, I appreciate you stopping through. This oh, is amazing. If they don't have you, they don't have the album, make sure that you check it out. Download it all streaming platforms. <laughs> um, songs for women. Uh, free game for dudes, fill in the blank, however you yeah, want to say that. Say um, you know, if you want to leave them with any final words, and I, you know, to your point, I think you're making it very cool to be songwriters, showing people the other things to do when it comes yeah. to music behind the scenes. And I think <laughs> they can open incredible doors, for, especially for a lot of women. You yeah, know what I mean? You know, it's just, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, songs for women, the, the project is so good, people be forgetting, you know, like, I'm a woman singing to women. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's like, that's like, I feel like in 2023, we have to just. If the music is good, and it shouldn't matter about all that other stuff. All that other stuff is just to keep us separate, separate. Absolutely. Right here. All right. Saying the truth, real deal. One last question. This is yeah. the 50th year of hip hop. All right. Uh, there's a lot of albums out there, a lot of music this we've been exposed to. All right, now I know, I know. All right, I'm like, I'm not even gonna make it hard on you. Yeah. What are your top three yeah. go-to hip hop albums of all time? Don't say, don't give us three bad boy albums. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, to Pimp a Butterfly. Okay. One of my favorite, 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 favorite projects. Um, 
damn, I think I've been listening. Oof, this is tough because it could go either way. And I'm not going to, I'm not, Life or Death, Notorious B.I.G. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. That album is so good. Life After Death. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yep. Right. Um, and number three, oh my gosh. I got to go with, uh, <laughs> God probably going to be mad at me, but uh, Andre 3000, uh, The Love Below. Okay, hey, those are those that wasn't are three. Really hip hop, but like nah, those are three fantastic albums love though. Below is like, Even though that's half of an album, that's an incredible album. Man. That's an incredible. Yeah, that's album. I love Big Boy. Yeah, I yeah. The Love Below album for sure. Speak about some sure. but like Love Below was like. I love it. Jazzy, appreciate your time. Always love. Give me a hug. Love you, man. Thank M-Town you. love. You know what I'm saying? M-Town veterans, man. Hotspotatl.com. This Jazzy, make sure you check out. Oh, you made it. Ah! <laughs>